Hey, it's Nick here from the Otter Blog. I'm really excited to announce that Thesis version 1.6 has been released. Not only has the best WordPress theme been upgraded, but its creators have made it more customizable than ever. For those who aren't familiar with Thesis, here are the three top reasons to use it. Your, first, your time is valuable. Second, Thesis is easy to customize. Third, Thesis has outstanding support. Now, anyone that uses WordPress knows that there's thousands of free themes which you can use on any of your WordPress websites. After all, the theme you choose is one of the most important decisions you'll make with regard to your blog. So many of you understand the frustration of choosing the right theme. Now, thousands of free themes may seem great at first glance, but each one of these free themes have different capabilities and layouts. This consequently leads to inconsistencies between the theme's underlying code, which can cause huge headaches when it comes time to make tiny changes to your website. Now, before I used Thesis, I was happy with three free themes, don't get me wrong. But any time I would pick a theme, I would never fully be satisfied. This resulted in additional hassle of spending hours learning new PHP code and CSS definitions to make customizations. Not to mention, I, I could never get in touch with the creator when I had a question about the theme. This left me hanging and more frustrated than ever. It quickly became apparent that the real inherent cost of using a free theme was my time. With Thesis, you now have the power of customization back in your own hands. Thesis 1.6 upgrades the already powerful WordPress framework to include additional design options, allowing you to quickly make your WordPress site look unique without ever having to touch code. They also upgraded the navigation to include drop-down menus, but more on that later. Thesis is one of the most active support forums I've ever seen. Have a, have a question? Just ask it and the Thesis community will help get your problems fixed in no time. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Thesis was built from the ground up with search engine optimization in mind. Now, I'm not normally one to tinker with on-page SEO much, and I hate the guessing game of what SEO steps to take next, so I just let Thesis handle my SEO. I can definitely say Thesis has made a huge impact on my site's rankings. All right, enough talk, let's get on to what Thesis can really do. All right, we have a fresh install of Thesis here, and this is on a, a development site. So let's, let's log into the back end. You can log in down at the bottom, click on this WordPress admin. When you get here, go to Thesis Options. We have a brand new, fresh Thesis design, which we can customize via the back end. First, let's go to Design Options. Within these options, you will find everything you want to customize. Fonts, colors, site layout, your teasers, your multimedia box, your framework, and many more other options. First, let's start with the colors. Now, before I created this, this video, I wrote down some color schemes. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty good with colors, but it, I can't do things like this on the fly. So what Thesis allows us to do is we can quickly change any part of the site's color via this back end. So we have the site background color, the site page color, the primary text color, primary link color. We have the hover color, everything from the nav menu, and the header text. Headlines, bylines, code, pretty much anything you can think of, Thesis is easily, has been made to customize. We also have the site layout, which has three columns. We can do two columns. We can do one column. I prefer three columns. It's a great way of displaying content, yet still having enough room to display what you need to in the sidebar. You can change the column order. We can do a split layout. You can do two left sidebars, one left sidebar anything you pretty much want. There's teasers, uh, you're able to toggle each of these things. You're also, you can format the date, pretty much look at the back end, all these options, there's a lot, a lot of things you can change in here. So first we're just gonna go through the colors. I'm gonna key all these in and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we now have all the colors keyed in. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Let's go down to the big save button, hit save. Here we go. This is what we've changed. We've changed the, the background color of the main part of the site, the background color. We added this sweet little border here, shadow. The main text color is a bluish green, really dark, is, is great. Let's go to the more complex stuff, such as the menu. Now right now, we can go ahead and key in all of these, but we're gonna need other drop-down things, which is I told you I was gonna tell you about later, so here's where, where the fun part comes in. Thesis options, as I said, have a lot of options but I'm going to show you the ones you really need to know about. The navigation. Here you can key in, you can select anything you want. So I want to show you the drop down. So I'm going to have a parent page, a child page, 
and uh, a three level one. We'll just say, we'll have this one be like top. Notice how we can change the text to be whatever we want. Middle, and then we'll do right. So let's save this. See what Thesis does with that. Here we go. It's got the standard navigation. Oh, and it's got a, a child page. And now we have a three-way dropdown. Isn't that great? Now let's learn how we can color these in. Go back to design options. And under the nav menu, I'm going to go ahead and key in more colors. We'll be back in just a second. We now have the colors keyed in. So let's go ahead and hit save. Here we go. You can actually see how this works. The hover changes colors slightly, not what, what I expected color-wise, but you can you get the gist of it. We can go through and change everything from the titles. We can change the bottom text. We can remove these borders. We can change this frame color. What I want to do is I want to remove this box around this and make the sidebars one consistent color. So I'm going to show you how to do this fairly quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the thesis design options. The same page we've been on. We're going to scroll down here to the multimedia box. And I'm going to copy over some colors. Okay, so what this has done is this has changed the multimedia box. I'll show you real quick. It looks great, but we didn't actually get to change the sidebar. The whole sidebar just changed this area around the multimedia box. And if you embed a video, it will also look the same. So what I'm going to show you now is the coolest new feature in 1.6. That is the custom file editor. No more will you have to deal with uploading or any of that, any of those hassles. You can edit your custom CSS right from here, along with your custom functions. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the rest of the sidebar to match this multimedia box. So we have the custom selector. Custom, sidebars, background color, and if I remember right, it was C-F-E-E-F-F, -E -E -F -F, colon, and this one conveniently puts it, uh, puts a, the trailing slash on, and we'll hit the save button. Let's see what it does. Now, you don't ever actually have to enter your own CSS. I just thought this would make a cool little demonstration about how easy it is to use Thesis Editor. Now, Thesis, as I mentioned, Thesis has a great support community. And if, if you have a question about CSS, they're happy to help you. If you have a question about, let's say you wanted to move this navigation below here, there's definitely tutorials on how to do that. And they're very straightforward and super easy. It's, you'll probably copy, take you two minutes to search and two or three minutes to copy and paste it into your custom functions.php and you're off running. So this is basically how you edit thesis through the design options. So let's go ahead and wrap up. To wrap this overview, there's a short list of other cool features that I didn't cover. Easy analytics integration, custom posts, title tags, and meta tags without a plugin. Uh, you can, as I showed you, you can reorder your menus. You can create custom post images. Uh, which are super powerful once you learn how to do that. It's really easy. Uh, you can do hassle-free advertising in your multimedia box for each post. Uh, if, if you have a sales page, you want to use sales page for, with Thesis, you can select a one-column layout and no sidebars. Works great. So if you haven't yet bought Thesis and given it a try, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you're going to spend time tweaking other themes to meet your needs, really, let, let's face it. All of us have spent more than five to 10 hours messing with WordPress themes. I'm tired of it. And I, I just convinced one of my friends today that he need, his time is worth more than $10 an hour. And it, at that rate, eight hours of, of tinkering with a WordPress theme pays for thesis. So what are you waiting for? Get it.